Hello, my name is Kari 82 and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I am just over by my bees and I actually moved them a little bit forward uh, because apparently I have a little bit of deciduous forest right here. So that is considered, I guess, temperate. Yeah, normal, normal. Um, but I've crafted a couple things here. One is this biome habitat locator. And if we right click on it, it looks like we put a bee in there and it'll tell you what habitats it works in, but I do need some honey. And we get that from centrifuging honeycombs. But if we take a look at uh, my bees here, I've gone ahead and crafted up this field kit. Uh, so this field kit here and the habitat locator, I've done both those quests. And, uh, It'll tell you what biome you're in just by mousing over it. So current biome, deciduous forest, uh, river hot. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But obviously we have, <laughs> you know, my mini map will tell me what it is. I can even do under F3, it'll tell me. Uh, bog. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this works with the bees. Now, I crossbred all these meadows, forest, and it, I didn't get a common drone, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean some of them don't have common traits in them. So I'm going to pull this out. All three of those. And let's see how this field kit works. Now, if you right click it, it'll pull this up. It's like paper goes in there. So I'm a little curious how. Does that. So does it give me like a paper readout or does it just tell me. Oh, there we go. So we can actually look at it. So this is a Meadows Forest Hybrid. All right, so that's kind of cool. And then if you mouse over these, it'll tell you. All right. It does take a second, but it doesn't require honey, but I'm definitely gonna do the Bealizer as soon as possible. So Forest Meadows. Forest Meadows. All right, so all three of those were the same. Um, curious if any of these have a common trait on it. Yeah, this is going to go through quite a lot of paper, though, unfortunately, for everything I need. Just to do the rest of these, and we'll see if there's a common trait on there. Because if there is, I'm going to put that one back in. But it doesn't look like I got any of that from field kits. No. All right. So let's just go ahead and throw these back in. So we'll do forest and meadows. We'll do. Those together, I didn't scan that, but yeah, we'll do that one again. All right, so basically, we just keep doing that over and over again. Now, I wonder if there's anything we can do with the forest drones. Like, is there any point in saving them? I don't think there is. Always feels bad just getting rid of bees, but I don't want a huge stockpile of stuff, especially like these bees that I don't need. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and I think we just centrifuge some of these honeycombs, and that will get us. Sometimes they're secondary um, ingredients or. 
byproducts, but this one doesn't. This is just beeswax and honey, and I think I have, actually I have a, a faster one over here. And I think honey, yeah, honey is 100% drop. So I'm just curious how this, I'm assuming if we do this and put like tropical in there, we'll put it right there. It needs a bit of honey and it'll tell us obviously jungle, forest, mushroom, swamp, plains, and ocean. Oh, it can actually work in a plains. I didn't know it could work in plains. I thought it had to be like a humid biome. All right, but that's cool. Go ahead and throw that in there for now. I'll probably put that in there. Um, beeswax, not sure. Uh, we have some uses for it. I'll just throw that beeswax in there. But one of the next things I want to do is this beelizer because it tells me what the inactive and the active uh, things for it are. So I need. Four diamond screws, some tin casings, and some redstone. Do I have any diamond screws? No. That is a bit of a pain. It's because this takes so long. Yeah, 48 seconds. Uh, let me get this crafted up and we will back. And I got everything here and I crafted this stuff up and I was wondering why it wasn't working and I always forget to check this part. So I need a display, which is just mo most of the same, just a couple circuits, LV stuff, easy enough. But uh, there we go. Um, I did get Apiarius pants from one of the bee bags, uh, one of the, uh, the loot bags. Um, so there is something pretty good. These are really expensive to make. They require woven silk and silk. Not expensive, but it's just, it takes a long time to get the the silky comb for it, um, which is why I have tropical uh, bees on me. All right, there is the bee Eliza. And we'll claim that, and we actually get honey from it. Oh, we got a bunch of things, and I threw some more of my honeycombs through there and got a bunch of honey. So basically, we just do a right click, put the honey in there, and then if we put a bee in, like those are already discovered. So if I put this one in, it'll use one bee drop, and then it'll give me this. And I find this is just a bit easier than that field kit. And it doesn't require paper, it just requires honey drop. Um, but as we can see, this is a meadows and forest. And if you put it in the different slots, it'll tell you different things. Climate, uh, diurnal is, does it work during the day? Nocturnal at night, tolerant flyer, does it work with rain? Cave dwelling, does it work with something covering it like over the hive? all the different mutations we can get and obviously <laughs> it's a little over the thing but and then just kind of some little information about it which is pretty cool but as we can see none of the the drones that i got were hybrids unfortunately and i don't know if i still haven't There's a scanner like mutagen. How do we get mutagen? Get it from redstone. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can like smelt these down or. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any uses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them. If I find something for later, then uh, that that will work. Anyway, um, so. I want to get these apiaris pants because this stops the bees whenever they have like a bad sort of effect. And there's some pretty nasty ones out there. Uh, if I'm wearing the apiaris gear, I won't take any damage from. And I want to set up a little bit of like a 
automation with that. And very simply, I think we can just do it this way. Um, we can just do a simple conveyor belt and have it kind of continually go back in with some pipes. Let's go over there. And I also want to get an easier way to get over here because this takes a little while to walk over. Um, and I think I can do anchors. So maybe we could try that out as well. All right, so those are still working. They are quite slow, unfortunately. Um, and I've realized I forgot to bring another bee house. Let me grab a new bee house and I will meet you back here. All right, uh, quick detour here. I got the bee house and my tropical and I got the stuff ready for it. But I'm actually going to get the travel anchor here uh, in the meantime. So I think that may be a quest for the LV, maybe? No? Guess not. Um, but there we go, those are the two travel anchors, not too difficult to make. The field generator is a bit annoying because it requires red steel, which uh, can find it here. Red steel is, there we go, black steel dust, regular steel dust, bismuth bronze, which is bismuth, zinc, and copper. So we finally had a use for the bismuth we got. And then sterling silver is just copper and some silver. So not too difficult to make, but it's just another alloy. Um, but hopefully. Um, I don't know where I want to put this. Probably like just a bit off center. Like that. And then if we go place this one over by our base, we should be able to teleport back and forth. I th I think I don't think we need a travel anchor I, or a was it a travel wand or whatever it's called? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've used the uh, tribal anchors. And yep, yeah, these are still going. Holy cow, those are slow. Oh, wait, no. This one's still going. But these finished. Yeah, no queen. The UI looks a bit buggy. And if you stand on them, I should be able to see it and then just shift on it. So that makes that a little bit easier uh, to deal with. And they weren't that expensive either. Just, uh, I think, four diamonds is, but that's not even that bad. Anyway, so the tropical bees need, where did I put that? Got it. that in there they need like a super humid thing so if I look at the bog should be fine now I don't particularly want this right next to me although I don't know we'll see how bad it is with the nano armor although I think they get poison now that I'm thinking about it maybe we shouldn't put it right there Yeah, these need like a bog or a, a wet kind of biome. All 
don't know. I'll just place this here kind of for now. And we'll see. Yeah, the damp. They need the damp. Oh, it needs to be hot too. Do that. Oh, I didn't put those in, did I? Should have. Well, I actually don't know if I should use the honeydew. Just in case I need that for something. I seem to remember seeing a recipe for that required honeydew, not regular honey. So we do that. Didn't feel like it changed, but oh well. Unless I have to, no. Oh, look at that. It points to the nearest biome. So I think it's like a river wet will work. I just got to find. Like my even my base is actually in it, I think. Is it this green? River Oasis. Warm damp. I think this will probably actually work. It's a bit of a pain that it's far away, but it's, uh, oh, here we go. We got some green. It's actually some green right here, dark green. Let's try this over here. And it's kind of away from my tropical, but I think these need vines now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, warm, damp, perfect. So that is actually kind of cool. If you put the bee in there, it'll point you to the right Way. Now, if these bite me, I think it gives me poison. I can't remember if it's poison or is it whatever it is. Um, but maybe the nano suit will protect me from it. Uh, but basically, I just want to do a very basic. I hope these connect. Will these connect? Ooh, these do not connect. All right, so that's not gonna work. Unless the bee house, you can't do that. It may be able to do that in the apiary. All right, so it does give me poison for 27 seconds. So that is why I want the apiary suit. All right, but again, we did not get I don't want to get attacked here. Poison. All right, perfect. All right, so again, we did not get common. So it's just going to take me some time, but so let's double check all these and see if forest, forest, meadows, forest, forest, forest. No. Nope. What about any of these? Anything with a common? No. So again, um, we'll just put these back and over and over and over again <laughs> until we get a common drone here. All right, but let me see if The apiary or the apiary requires. All right, so impregnated frames, steel, fences. That's annoying because fences are annoying to make. <laughs> Actually, no, they're not. I remember they used to be, but they're not that bad. 
But impregnated frames, I need creosote and woven cotton and impregnated sticks. All right, so this is a bit annoying. Let me go ahead and get some of this crafted up and we will be back. All right, I am back and kind of looking at the different recipes here. I think I'm gonna to need to craft another carpenter um, because to get impregnated frames, we need seed oil and a carpenter. There's no other recipe for it. And to get the creosote, which you cut down creosote wood blocks, there is also no other recipe for the uh, to get this other than a carpenter, which needs creosote. So I'm probably gonna have to craft two of these because kind of like transfer fluids back and forth is quite a big pain. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show that off. So let me get some of this. I also expanded my tree farm because I was noticing it wasn't keeping up. And part of the reason was because I expanded it, I threw the, the thing in, but uh, the trees don't grow if they're like adjacent to the wall. And I completely forgot about that. So a large part of the farm wasn't actually growing. So I think these are 750 each. Yeah. And I just put three buckets in to get four, and then we can cut these down to get the slabs. All right, so we got the slabs. I got the impregnated casing. I just did that in my assembler. Because uh they're just easier, faster if you do them in the assembler with some seed oil. We'll take that out. I wish that would disappear. That. Why didn't that complete? Do I not have? Oh, I don't have enough of those. Thankfully, this is fast. All right. So that, that, and that. And I need the seed oil in there. Yeah, I definitely need a second one of these, or even a third one, because some of the things need redstone in there. So having multiple of those. Work. And as I was kind of looking at quests, I realized bee houses do not allow crossbreeding. And I didn't know that. <laughs> so no wonder I wasn't getting any sort of common bees from my, my bees over the bee houses. Um, but anyway, yeah, be careful with that. So there is... That's and apiary. Bee houses can be used to stabilize mutations. For example, if you successfully bred two different bees, but the passive traits are different from the active ones. Production rates in an empty apiary are low, lower than a bee house by quite a bit, in fact, but the apiary has too big advantage frames and automation. All right, so that's kind of why I wanted to do that. And again, we need lots of seed oil. I do have pumpkins and melons going, and I can get quite a bit of seeds from them. Uh, it's 10 millibuckets per seed from a melon. And I can actually get, if I had a slicing machine of this, I could actually get eight. So I could get 80 millibuckets. I'm still trying to get uh, the rape seed 
because that is a pretty good thing, but uh, it hasn't crossbred yet, or it hasn't haven't worked yet. But anyway, let me get this apiary crafted up, and we'll come back. All right, I'm just putting the last thing in there for the apiary, and then I just need the bee house, so I'll just borrow. I guess we'll just borrow that one. Um, so there we go, and then thousand seed oil, quite a lot of seed oil, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll get the uh, the best seed for it. All right, but there is the apiary. Keep losing it. There we go. Let's claim that. We get three untreated frames, uh, which have really low durability, and I use these to craft bee houses. So I'm actually not going to use those for that, I think. And I also got a couple loot bags. Let's see if what I get from these wheat. And mushroom stew. All my food just goes in there. Oh, they don't. They not stack. That was weird. Anyway. Okay, so if you put it in there, they don't stack anymore. That's weird. I just get rid of them. Don't need them. All right, so this has opened up a few different things here. In order to canoe with bees to mutate and breed them as you like, you need mutagen. All right, so that is on Mars. Oh, I do get a couple bees here, so that's cool. Mutagenic frame. Uranium and plutonium. I don't have a whole lot of plutonium yet. <laughs> So that is a no-go for now. But yeah, if we look at that, um, lifespan and mutagen, mutation rates, so I'll have to look into that. Um, but plutonium is not something I have a lot of right now. And then proven frames, alvaries. So this is kind of what I'm working towards, the royal jelly and pollen. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and drop this apiary down. So it looks a little different, but now if we throw... I'm just going to do this. So this has three fertility. The other one had two. So this is lost fertility. So that's not good, but here we go. We will, I kind of want a pure, if I still have it. I don't, unfortunately. But there we go, we'll mix that up. And then these, you can actually throw frames in. So they have spots for the frames and you just throw them in and then it'll slowly take durability and then it'll give whatever boost it has. So this has a higher mutation rate, unfortunately a longer lifespan, which I don't particularly want, but doubles the production and then genetic decay is lowered, I think. I think under one is lowered. I'm not 100% sure on that though. But genetic decay turns pristine into ignoble, I believe. All right, but let me uh, see if we can finally get a common bee out of that, and I will harvest up some more crops and get some seed oil. I want to get some more apiaries going. And then I'm just going to have kind of these tropical bees going, producing silky combs, which I can throw in my centrifuge to hopefully get 
Silky Propolis and Silk Wisp. So as we can see, it's a chance of a chance of a chance. It's pretty terrible. Um, but yeah, we'll come back in a bit. All right, it looks like I just got my first common thrown here. So let's see if we can read this out. So that doesn't have any common traits on it. This one does. And that one doesn't. So I'm going to hold on to this one. This is a common forest. I'm going to put this back in with the common. I'm going to hold on to this one because I may be able to use the common uh, secondary off it. And I also <laughs> um, expanded my farm. I was waiting for pumpkins and I realized why am I sitting here waiting for pumpkins when I can just expand all my pumpkin crops. So now I have a whole bunch of pumpkins coming in. So yeah, we'll be back. All right, so I expanded my crop little farms here. Just they're two by three now, as opposed to three by one. And I ended up getting a blazer. So finally got that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, still waiting on the dandelions to give me the rape seed. Uh, I had weeds take over, so I had to replant them. That's why they're small, but let's head over to my bees. I made a bunch of impregnated frames here, and it looks like we finally got a common drone here. Guess I don't need to take all these out. I actually got two commons, which that's fine because I need uh, cultivated, which is a common mixed with the other one. So that's actually okay. Let's take a look at one is that's a commons meadow. They're both commons meadow. Is there a see? There is the cultivated, which is what I need. So I will probably hold on. This is a common cultivated. I'm not going to use that one until I'm trying to get the, the other one. All right. So I'm going to do, they're both commons meadow. Let's do one. I don't know, like the best way to do this, but I'm assuming like commons meadow and then commons forest would hopefully get a full common. Totally guessing there. And then common in there. We'll try that again. Now, I made three of these for each of them. I'll just let that uh, tick down. That's weird. Once you put it in, you can't see it. If I do, yeah, if you do, um, Advanced tooltips, it'll show you. I'll probably leave those on for now. All right, so hopefully we'll get the, the full bread uh, common queen, because I think that's what you need for this. It does say they need to be I remember that somewhere. I wonder if it needs to be pristine. I hope it doesn't have to be pristine. Anyway, uh, once we get this quest, uh, once I get the common bees and find out uh, what needs to happen for the... I'm assuming they just need to be common common for both. That's my guess, but we will find out. And really quick, this one got forest roads. This one got common. Let's take a look at those. And this common went back to a meadows, but bred a cultivated. So uh, that's pretty funny. But it looks like uh, I just got credit for that quest. Uh, where is it? Yep. How to... So that counted, and I'm curious what they look like. All right, so common, common. I was I didn't think these all had to be the same but you do need a common common. Now, 
I will probably, um, you can use a bee house for this, from what I was reading, since these are, like, they're different stats. I want to get them both the same, obviously. So you can use a bee house, because they won't, um, well, actually, it doesn't really matter. But, because if it's like a, it can't change its thing in a bee house. So maybe actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this was a common and I put it back in the apiary and it changed. I should have put it in the bee house now that I'm thinking about it. So like this is cultivated. Uh, once I get a cultivated drone, I'll put that in a bee house instead of in the apiary. That way it can never change, even though it, it has common as the inactive. Um, so I think, yeah, so I think I making use of the, yeah, so I want to get this to a common and then breed it with the cultivated, I think is what I want to do. So I have a couple common drones here. Is there any of them? Yeah, so they're both common, common. All right, so this is actually pretty cool because now I can pretty safely uh, breed a a common princess or a common, yeah, a common princess since I have a a common, common uh, drone. But anyway, that's going to be enough for bees. It kind of turned into a beat episode. I wasn't really planning on that. Um, but... Kind of the beginning is it does take a little while to kind of get going. So I just kind of wanted to test that out. Now I have gotten a few silky combs here and I'm kind of curious as if I have 22. What is, I mean, I think, no, I didn't get one there. I don't think. Yeah, 80% chance. I wish you could up that the same in. Forestry. And I'm getting a pretty bad rate here. That's a hundred percent. So <laughs> with an eighty percent chance, I got less than fifty percent. So that feels pretty bad. Uh, but then this has a 60% chance. And it looks like I got almost none of this. I got five. So from, how did I end up with more silky? Did I? That was weird. Maybe they were in the pipes and I didn't realize or something. But did I get more? That doesn't give a chance to silky. No. All right, so I actually got more than I realized. Uh, but it looks like overall I got 10 silk wisps from that, and then it's nine silk wisps. Or one of those, and I need uh, like 17 more of these, I think. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Gonna take a while to get the rest of the appear soup. Hopefully I will get some more things from the loot bags. So let's test this really quick and We'll have to wrap up the episode here. I did get a hat, but I already had the pants, unfortunately. So every time I get a piece, it is less I have to get towards that. Um, and I don't think these have a use. No, they don't. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, I want to get into a bit more tech. I think I want to get the extruder, the multi-block extruder built. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.